Hello everyone! Today's video will be about alternating series. We're going to define alternating series, we'll see some examples, we'll talk about how to tell if an alternating series converges, and finally we'll discuss how to approximate the sum of an alternating series. So first, let's define what we actually mean by alternating series. An alternating series is a series of the form sum of negative 1 to the n, bn, or sum negative 1 to the n plus 1 bn where the bn are positive numbers. Now, why are series of these forms called alternating? Well, the minus 1 to the n, or minus 1 to the n plus 1, will switch, or alternate, between negative 1 and 1. So, since the bn's are positive, the terms in these series will alternate between positive and negative. That's why we call these series alternating. Also, I just want to note that the only difference between these two forms is that one will have the negative terms in the odd positions, and the other will have the negative terms in the even positions. Now, let's see some examples of alternating series. We've already seen one example, namely the sum of minus 1 to the n plus 1 times 1 over n. And if you recall, we showed that the series converges by showing that the limit of the partial sums converges. Similarly, we could make this a series of the other form by changing it to the sum of minus 1 to the n times 1 over n. And the same way, this series is also going to converge, and it converges to the negative of the number that the last example converges to. As a final example, consider the series sum of minus 1 to the n plus 1 times n over 2n plus 1. This series is certainly alternating because of the minus 1 to the n plus 1, but does it converge? Well, Notice that when we take the limit of the bn's, we get a half. Therefore, the terms that we are summing over don't go to zero, and so the series diverges by the divergence test.